hello everyone and welcome to my channel well uh, today it's going to be the fourth fourth video on nextjs tutorial and today we are going to learn about api data fetching so in our previous video we learned about um, static data fetching from a stat static file uh, from a from a data static data file and today we are going to fetch uh, data from uh, api and for that we uh, we have a json data over here and this json data is this is a dummy json data provided by dummyjson.com and uh, this is the url so we are going to use this and we are going to fetch this data in our web page that we are working on so let's go to the visual studio and as yes, this is the home page so let's say um, make it home all right just a moment uh, text center and we'll just put it at the center text align center important and uh, let's say home or home page so this is our home page and just below that we are going to put a link so this link is same as the anchor tag in html it's just that over here we can also use anchor tag over here in next.js but the, the only difference is that uh, the anchor tag loads the entire web page and this uh, and this uh, link component it's uh, it just loads the data so it's just loads it, it just loads the children or you can say the web page only not the entire website so it the, it results in you know uh, faster processing so let me show you how it happens so let's instead of this let's use an anchor tag a href is equals to let's say uh, we have another page called products and go to products so this is the one and let's put it inside a div tag div dot text center and over here just like this so go to products and if we click here you, you can see we have a 404 error so we are going to create this page and as i as i have already told you that um nextjs uses a file based routing so you need to make sure the file names are as per the guidelines so inside the app directory we will create so it, it's uh, so the link we have is slash products so we will create a folder by the same name inside the app directory so new folder and products and inside products we will create a file by the name page.jsx now let's uh, create the page export default function products or let's say all products and return let's say we are putting this heading um, here it is all products and let's refresh the page or we have not saved we, we have not saved this one uh, all products yeah we got it now so go to products so guys if you can see over here when we are clicking on the go to products it loads the entire web application so if you see uh, on the top just at the fav icon uh, there would be a loading here so let me click on go to products and look at the fav icon it is loading so that means it's loading the entire web page now instead of this since we uh, installed the app router while while installing this project so we are going to use that app router and for that we are going to use the link component 
the link component and it's and it works same as the um, anchor tag in HTML. So go to products and link href is equals to products. Now we'll refresh the page and now let's check. So just look at the fav icon. There will there, there will not be any kind of loading over here when I click on this button on this link. So see it's directly loading the page the content without reloading or refreshing the entire web application so that's how this link component works so this is the beauty of next.js and now let's go to the products page and over here we are going to fetch the json data that we have here now for that let's create a file inside the src so outside the app directory and inside the src directory we will create a new folder by the name utils or you can say utilities and inside utilities we will create a new file let's say um, get products and uh let's make it a folder get products and inside this folder we will create a file all all products.js all right now okay we are on the products all products page now inside this let's suppose division dot uh let's make it product container product container and uh, let's leave it i'm not using any kind of css right now i'm just showing you how to fetch data from api so on this all products.js page we will create a function so and we will export it at the same time so export default async function because we are going to use the fetch function and for that this should be an async function so export default async function let's say uh, get all products and inside this we will put uh, we'll, we'll uh, yeah we will create a variable let response is equals to a uh, wait uh, uh you can simply fetch uh it should not be get it, it should not be post it should be get so we'll use the get function get function and over here we will write our api url okay and then we will just put it in the json format so response is equals to await response dot json and we will return the same return response now now we have uh, we are on the products page and over here we will declare a variable a constant uh so const all products and okay call uh const all products is equals to await get all products and it will automatically fetch the function from its desired location and await okay so here you can see we have an error over here on await because uh, we since we are using await it returns a promise so for that we will make it an async function so export default async function all products and then we are getting uh, we are calling this function here and now let's log the variable all products so all products and see what we get all right so we are getting this data over here and it's in the array format so let's see uh, now uh, let's use ol and ordered list and inside then ol we will write our map function so for that all products dot map 
we'll take a variable item to fetch the data and inside this we will write li and we'll put a key over here and it would be item item dot id and okay i think we have got an error over here so what's the error so it says all products dot map is not a function it might be because uh we are getting this data and inside this data we have another variable by the name products so this is the array uh the array name so what we need to do is we will just simply go here and we will return response dot this uh, array array name so that would be response dot products and see the error is gone now so response dot product uh yeah perfect now inside this we will write our item dot so the item name would be this one so item name and this would be title so item dot title and see we have got all of these data here and uh, but the thing is that um, over here there is a limitation as you can see if we go if we scroll it to the bottom you can see we are getting only 30 only 30 data and there is an offset skip zero and the total data is 194 so out of 194 we are we are getting only 30 data and we can we can get the rest of the data i think uh, we'll have to put yeah we'll have to put here just a moment uh skip zero so since the limit is 30 and we'll do dollar skip is equals to 30 and so yes we are getting the rest of the 30 data and let's let's check at the bottom so yeah we have got another 30 data out of 194 so we'll do the pagination later on so right now we are just working on how to fetch data from api so we have got all of this data here now we are going to view this data in another uh, page so individually so in details so let's say we have an another component uh, just a moment we let me just create a link component here link href is equals to leave it blank as of now and view details all right and let's class name margin start to margin start to so margin this would be margin left to rem important all right perfect now view details and inside view details uh, we'll have to put the id so we are going to make it dynamic so that when we click on this we'll go to another page when this uh, this information or this data will be viewed in details will be displayed in details so for that we will create uh, we will create another page inside this products folder and uh, that would be inside a directory and let's say it would be product id or product id like this and inside product id so um, while making dynamic routes we need to use square braces and it will automatically the next yes will automatically understand that this is a dynamic route and this it's very easy we won't have to do anything else we won't have to write any other function any other logic we just simply name the file and folders according to its you know uh, 
requirement and it will be done and inside this product id we will create a page page.jsx and okay so let's create the function let's create the page export default since this is going to be uh, so we are going to fetch data here as well so we are making it async function so export default async function product and inside this so uh, we are going to capture the product id on this page so for that uh, for the dynamic routing we will be using params over here so inside this products so we will write params and return and here we will put our data later on after we fetch the data from the api so right now we have got products and you can see if we click on this it will take us okay since we have not put any kind of href here so uh it would be slash products slash and then we'll write the item dot id because we are going to fetch the product through its id like this so products slash one and we will get the first data and if we make the id two we will get the second data like this so uh all right perfect now if let's check if we click on view details it's taking us to another page this one and since we have not done anything yet so it's not showing any data here now go let's go ahead and create uh, you know build this page now for that we will create another function so let's copy this function and let's create another one uh, get products now we'll write get single get single product slash get single product dot jsx oh i'm sorry it should be js not jsx all right now export function export async uh, let's just paste the copied data the copied codes so export default async function get get single product and over here i will write let's uh, let response is equal to await fetch and okay we will use a parameter over here and that would be uh product slug and over here we will put dash and all right we will make it escape string so that we can use a variable inside it and it would be product slug so we will be fetching data automatically and uh, okay first of all let's check what kind of data we are getting whether it is a json data or an array data so as we can see we are getting a pure json not in an array format but in purely in json format so we will not write products over here we will just simply return the response all right now get single product now we will declare a constant const uh, data is equals to await get single product and inside this we will write the product id so for to get the product id we will write we will write params dot product id and let's log let's 
log the data in console and let's see whether we are getting this data say so yes we are getting this data over here and now we can print all of the data here this way so let's delete this console log and inside this let's say we are data dot title this is the product title and what else we have we have the description so let's write the description description would be item item dot description oh i'm sorry it should be data dot description data dot description now the another thing is category so let's display the price h5 price will be data dot price you are getting the price as well and before that we'll put dollar also price is 9.99 .99 usd and apart from that what all we have we have discount percentage rating tax brand sku weight so whatever information you want to put on the web page you can uh, use that and let's uh, use one more thing uh, i'm not using the meta let's use the images okay it's like i think uh, thumbnail okay let's use the thumbnail okay let's use the thumbnail let's see how it looks and i will create an image src will be data dot thumbnail and alt let's say the alt tag will be data dot data dot title and uh let's put a style here that would be worth i'll use single quotes worth 100 percent worth 100 percent and max worth let's say um 10 rem would be enough and let's see okay we have got the image as well so let's check other data as well and here uh, eyeshadow palette with mirror nice we are getting this data power canister okay red lipstick okay red nail polish we're getting this as well let's check chicken meat we are getting this let's check let's check eggs we're getting eggs and let's let's check ice cream we've got the ice cream as well perfect so so uh, that's how we fetch data from api and that's all for today guys and we'll see you in the next video thank you and have a nice day